Trips that come to top of mind are like Tokyo, Seoul, Milan, um, really all over the world. Austinite Mitch Goulding relies on credit card points for frequent travel, using points on both big international vacations and short weekend trips. As a consumer, everything has already gotten so much more expensive and what points give you is something to kind of bridge that gap. Maybe I can stay somewhere nicer, but not spend as much money or stay or go on the trip that I wouldn't take otherwise. For Goulding and many consumers, the points earn themselves when using credit cards on everyday purchases like gas, groceries, and other expenses. The status quo today is that consumers feel confident spending uh, with their credit cards. They love getting their points. And frankly, many Americans can only travel now because they have points. Brian Kelly is the points guy. He founded a blog and website that showcases best ways to earn and redeem credit card points. If you ask him, there's no doubt the Credit Card Competition Act would jeopardize credit card points the same way he says a similar law impacted debit card points in the past. We know how this is going to play out because it did about a decade ago. The bill aims to cut the credit card interchange. That's the fee retailers pay when you use your credit card. Car. Those fees cover things like rewards and purchase protections. Lawmakers say fewer fees for merchants will help lower prices for consumers. But Kelly says history shows that won't happen because it didn't happen last time. The Federal Reserve did a study. 98% of retailers kept prices the same or increased them. So this notion of trickle down economics, the consumer will benefit from future price reductions is simply silly. CBS Austin requested an interview with the bill's author, Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois. He said in a statement, claims that my bipartisan bill with Senator Marshall would make credit card rewards disappear are nonsense. Banks, not card networks, offer rewards programs, and they do so to attract cardholders to use their banks and not other banks. He went on to say, I understand why Visa, MasterCard, and the mega banks oppose our bill because it takes these giants head on, but the competition that this bill would create would significantly benefit consumers and small businesses. The bill's supporters also argue similar legislation did not kill debit card rewards a decade ago, pointing to a 2020 survey where almost half of debit card users polled reported still earning rewards. Do you feel like there's a way that a bill could be written where it increases competition for credit card companies, but consumers can also hold on to their points? Is there a compromise here somewhere? I definitely think there's a compromise that can be made here. And I completely understand there are some small businesses where that two to three percent processing fee is really impacting them. For the consumer, what matters most to many is that their points are here to stay. I would rather keep the points than have faith that the merchant is going to lower their prices. I just can't see it. Melanie Torrey, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.